guys, so in today's video, I am going to be showing you how I do my full coverage foundation routine from start to finish. Just to keep this video short, I have already done my eye look for today. So for today's look, like I said, from start to finish, you will be seeing how I achieve my full glam face, which is like the one that I have right here next to me. Obviously, it's nighttime, but if it were during the day, I would of course, before moisturizing my face, I would use my Anessa sunscreen. This has an SPF of 50 plus. The next item that I'm going to be going in is this. This is my Estee Lauder moisturizer. It has an SPF of 15 and this is my Holy Grail product. I have been using this since I started doing makeup, which I started doing makeup when I was 15 years old. I wasn't allowed, my mom didn't allow me to use any makeup any younger and I'm very grateful because if not my skin would have been even more damaged because at that very young age you know we are very naive and we don't even know what we're applying onto our faces well at least back then back then it used to be like that I don't think it's like that anymore I've seen a lot of the younger YouTube girls here and they're like 14, 13 years old, 15, and shit, they do their makeup better than me. Huh. I have oily to combination skin. It is mainly oily on the T-zone, and I do get pretty dry right around here, and on my cheeks sometimes, I get dry patches, so my face is all over the place. And of course, you wanna apply this also on your neck. What I should have done from the beginning was remove all this hair that I have bothering me. I am in my pajamas, so. That's that. My ripped pajama looking like Kanye $5,000 ripped shirt. So the next item that I am going to be going in with is my primer. This is my Estee Lauder Illuminating Perfecting Primer. This doesn't have an SPF of anything and I'm going to apply this on my T-zone mainly because since I get oily on this area, it is where foundation usually begins to crease up a little bit especially on my you know line right here on the on the smile line so I tend to focus that there and on my nose I have a very oily nose and a little bit just here on my forehead following that up with my benefit professional this is just to minimize the appearance of pores so I focus this just right on this area grab a little bit I don't know if you guys could see that especially around my nostril area so I am just waiting for all of those products just to set on the face so for foundation um, drugstore I just really switch it up between my Maybelline this one is the dream pure BB cream it's an 8 in 1 product it has you know a whole bunch of stuff it's it has eight benefits in one, so it clears acne, conceals imperfections, minimizes pores, reduces redness, adjusts the skin tone, hydrates, smooth, enhances, all that good stuff. Um, I really love this BB cream. I would mainly use this for, you know, in school when I just want something quick and easy. And if I'm going for something a little bit more high coverage, I go with my CoverGirl Outlast um, foundation. It's a three-in-one foundation and actually this one is a little bit too light for me. This is the number 810 and it is too light. So I'm currently mixing this one with my L'Oreal one. But if it's drugstore, I mainly just reach for these two in my cabinet. Now when we're talking about high end, I reach for my NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. And I am in Santa Fe Medium 2. So I really shake this up really good before using it. This is a really good foundation. I absolutely love this foundation. If you are looking for a foundation that doesn't oxidize during the day and it's going to stay on and not rub off on your napkins and stuff, this foundation is for you. I love this thing. It's like a, it's a, it's magic in a bottle, basically. So I just do one pump on my cheek, half a pump for my forehead, and then I just drag everything together. And I used to apply my foundation with my hands. I was doing that for so, so many years before the makeup challenge with only your hands came out. I was doing that from the beginning. But what I use now is a damp beauty blender. And the reason why I work in sections is not because this foundation sets quickly, but it's just, I don't know, I, I recently began to do this 
and it's just easier on my part you know I don't have to worry about two parts at the same time I can just focus on one area being completely blended out and completely perfect without having to worry about this part setting and with that I can show you what one side of my face looks like without foundation and what the other side looks like with um, just one hand of foundation so now I'm gonna be complete the other side like I said I only do one pump for my cheeks and I just spread that out so then if I feel it necessary to add another pump because of coverage wise I will do and I think I will on my cheeks and I'm going to focus this just right here on my cheeks So my holy grail concealer has always been the Maybelline Fit Me and I am in the color 15 Fair. This is their lightest shade. I have used this concealer from the very beginning. I absolutely love the coverage that this gives me. But recently I decided to switch it up and I got this bad boy, um, the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I have seen so many YouTube rules ranting about this product. I tried it out. I didn't like it. <laughs> I just didn't like how it looked when it started to oxidize. So for this video, I am going to be using my Holy Grail products, of course. Now, I absolutely love concealer and I just love, love bright under eyes. So I apply a very generous amount of this. And of course, I also like to highlight my face. So I just put this down the bridge of my nose, on my chin, and on my forehead. I have been doing this a lot recently. And then I just love to bring this all the way to my hairline. So before this completely sets on my face, I am going to be baking. I absolutely love to bake the face because it just adds like this totally different like appearance to your face, believe it or not. And I am going to be doing that today with my CoverGirl Loose Translucent Powder in the number 105. How do you guys open your loose powder? That's how I open it. That's how I avoid like of the whole spillage on the table. So I have it here and this smells like roses. This product smells like roses. So what I do is I just dip my beauty blender in here. I use the pointy tip and I apply this as fast as I can onto my lower eye before it begins to crease. And I also apply this everywhere that I applied concealer. So also on my chin, forehead, and bridge of my nose. So while that is baking, I begin to contour and bronze up my face. And I do that with my Kat Von D Shapeless Light Contour Palette. And I do this with this one. It is called Shadow Play. So I grab it with this type of brush. It's a very, you know, it's a very hard um, edge brush. And it's just gonna help me be more precise with my application. So I double dab this here and then I just start applying. I start very small and then I just add up if I feel it necessary. And then I grab the color Sumptuous with the same brush, it's just a lighter tone, and I apply this to my temples. So it may look a little harsh now, I know, just wait until the very end, okay? There's a little trick that I do. So I believe I have had more than enough time for my face to completely bake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a big fluffy brush. This one is by Bare Minerals and I remove all of this excess powder from my face.
So it all just depends on how I'm feeling and how I am liking, you know, how everything is coming out. For me personally, I just like these areas to be a little bit more brighter. And so I'm going to go back into my Kat Von D contour palette. I'm going to be grabbing this shade. It is called Levitation. With this same brush, I am just going to be dabbing it a little bit on my face. This is just going to brighten up my face a little bit more. So now I am just going to be finishing up my lower eye makeup and I will be right back. Okay, so I am back. I'm pretty much pretty done. Yeah, that's it with my eyes. And now I'm going to be applying some blush. I bought this um, two days ago at Sephora. I actually got it at Sephora online and then they shipped it to me yesterday. So this is the Too Faced blush. It's the perfect flush blush and I got it in the color Candy Glow. And I just, I freaking adore the packaging on this, to be honest with you guys. Look how pretty this product is. This is so pretty. And the color nonetheless. So I'm going to be applying this with a blush brush. I'm going to be combining all three colors and applying this on the apples of my cheeks. It's a very subtle color and if you want it to be more opaque, you definitely have to build it up. So now I am going to be going in with my highlight and from my highlight, I get it from my Naked Flush palette in the color Native and it's this one here in the middle. And I grab it with a small fluff brush just like this one right here. And then I apply this on the bridge of my nose, on the tip of my nose, on my cupid's bow, on my brow bone, and just slightly right here. So then with this same palette, I'm going to be grabbing this bronzer right here. And I'm just going to be grabbing just whatever eyeshadow brush that I have. And I'm going to be shadowing just right here under my lip. This is just going to give the impression, of course, of a shadow. And it's just going to give the impression of a bigger pout. It's all an illusion. So, if I feel like my um, bronzer line is just a little bit too harsh, which I don't in person, it doesn't look as harsh as it does on camera. But since it's picking up pretty dark on camera, what I do is I just grab a powder foundation. This one is by Kat Von D. It's in the color, it's the Lock It Down Tooth Powder Foundation in the color light 48 this is what it looks like i've hit pot on it and what i do i grab the um fluffy brush i just dab this on here as such and then i go over this so i am just going to be finishing off my lips and i will be right back so the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to be setting my face with a setting spray. And I don't have the name of this company, for some reason it's not showing up. Um, it was just like a little sample that I got at Sephora. It is a setting mist with rosemary and it has an SPF of 50. And it's a 3-in-1, it sets makeup, controls oils, and delivers UV, UV protection as well. Shake it up a little bit and just do 3 pumps. Or four. <laughs> oh, and it just smells so good. So guys, this is pretty much it. This is my high-end full coverage foundation routine. This is what I did for eyes. I was feeling the purples, so I did this smoky purple look. So guys, with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up, comment, and do not forget to subscribe to catch up on my newest and latest videos, which I have a lot of them coming up. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Bye guys!